Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoovalux. How are you today? Bienvenido, Croissuir. Assalamu alaikum, welcome, konnichiwa. So today we're going to be looking at. Ah! So, I've told him before, this is Verity Lux, not Hoovalux. So, today we are going to be looking at. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Hello! Oh yes, it's me and Verity today, you've got the pair of us. So we're going to be doing a collaboration video together on my Mila and the turbo brush that arrived on Friday. So we'll move the camera and uh, we'll take a look at this closer up. Okay, so I've done the unboxing of the uh, C3 Complete. So what I decided to do was to bring it over today over to Verity's. I've asked her not to car to um, vacuum her carpets for a couple of days, which has been really itchy, hasn't it? Yeah, it is. It has been yeah. really itchy for it to leave them all. So her carpet's not in this state, but I really wanted to test this turbo brush. So well, first of all, so we're just going to have some chat about it. This is called the Miele C3. So this is a German vacuum cleaner. That's that pole. Okay. Good quality. Yeah, it feels really good. Metal. Uh, then we've got the hose. Mm -hmm. This is Very the stretchy. standard floor brush. So you've got your hard floors that way for the brushes to come down. Okay. Or your carpets. Is that to stop it scratching the floor? Yeah. And then this is the vacuum cleaner. Okay. This is the Miele C3. So this is a, it's not one of the top of the range ones. The top of the range ones would have a bag fill indicator light. Uh, it would have uh, automatic buttons on it and the ro there would be a, like a remote control on the handle okay. to turn it on and off. So this is more the lower down one. Right. So if you push this button here, you get your tools. Ooh. So they're really nice quality tools. Your dusting brush, crevice tool, and your thing on it. Do you like it? I do. But really if you just, you know, if you just sort of like feel the quality of it. And I like the way it all fits into that compartment. Yeah, so exactly. It yeah, nice it's all at the top. Yeah, nice and neatly away. Yeah. Other um, way, I think. Where's that? Where oh, I put it. I don't think it matters to be honest. Just, oh no, it is that way. Mm -hmm. There we go. And then this is the bag compartment. So if I turn it around, can you see? Yes. Yep. So this is the bag. If I pull the bag out, see it automatically seals. <gasps> That's good. So you don't have to do it. Literally to change it then, you just pull the bag out and dispose and of it. And you haven't got everything going everywhere. Mm. And that's the inside of it. So you've got a pre-motor filter here. Mm -hmm. So when you buy a pack of bags, you get these filters included. Okay. This one is a special one because it's got a charcoal filter. Ooh. So if you've got pets and wherever, um, it's, Which it eliminates. We have a cat here today. Exactly, so. it eliminates the smell. Ooh. So they say. That's so, good. So that's sealed. It's a complete seal system. And then literally, that's all you've got to do is pop in a new bag, slide it in. Slide it in. And voila. You're done. Very impressive. And then you just push it down. So simple. Cord then is at the back. Like that. Yeah. One touch cord rewind. Ooh. What's your plug on? Um probably out on the hallway. And plug it in. Oh, one second guys. Okay, so I'm going to switch it on for you. This is the lowest setting. That is called the soft start. So when you switch it on, it yeah. soft starts the motor to make it last longer. Okay. So switch it on. That's minimum. That's so nice but and feel quiet. The suction. That's amazing. I can't. That's so nice and quiet. It's unbelievable, isn't it? I can't believe that. So that's but set in there. Can you feel that? That's really powerful. Yeah, it is, yeah, even at the low setting. Yeah. So you've got the setting here, which is for curtains. Yeah. Up a bit then for upholstery. Oh, we'll do it like this. Yeah. Rugs. Yep. Silence. So 
the one which is an ear is sort of like it's the most silent but with still enough power to operate to clean your carpets. Okay. But then you've got that's that, max. I mean that even that's not Feel that. that's wow, that's good. But even that's not mega mega loud. No. So I bought this second hand, the lady I bought it off, she'd had it, um, she'd bought it, used it for three months and then hadn't used it again. Okay. So there is some wear from where it was stored, there's some marks inside here, but that's it. And um, Steve from Mad About Hoovers, he did point out that there was a, there's supposed to be like a little trim inside here which is missing. I, I, I don't know why. But to be honest, I mean, look at it. It's like it's like new. Well, you know, you're not going to really no, notice it. It really is like new. So it's really easy to assemble. So all you have to do is pop the hose in, like so. Mm -hmm. Oops. There we go. Yeah. Pop the top of the handle, like that, and it hang on, it uh, clicks in. Yeah. And then you can oh, it's this button over here to extend it. No. That's good. Really powerful. Very powerful. So I've done an I've done the unboxing video for this, so the viewers would have seen this already. Okay. But what I was waiting for, oops, was this, which is the turbo brush to go with it. I bought this second hand. I bought it second hand. I paid like twenty quid for it. And all through eBay and Amazon and all over, they were all like 50, 60 quid. Wow. So when it arrived, number one, I didn't expect it to be in a box. And number two... Because, you know... You no, know. exactly, because I paid so le so less for it. There was no box in the picture. No. Um, I want to take it out. It's like it's wow. brand new. That's, that's amazing. I mean, it's absolutely... There's no marks on no. there at all. Even the underneath of it, it's brand new. Uh, this is a, Steve did mention the name on it, it's an STB200-205 STB201 Vario, made in Germany. So I haven't even used this yet. Mm, girl, let's plug it in. Okay, switch it on. Okay, it was... There is also, say for example, you got a rug, yeah, and you want to sort of like not suck it up. You can open that, and it opens up an air vent. Right. So, so what that doesn't pick up the rug. Yeah, it slightly sort of like reduces so the it, power from it. It still hoovers the rug, but it doesn't like. You know, I, think, I get this all the time. That I'll be. I mean, moving. I think it all depends on what rug. To be honest, yeah. it all depends on. On what type of rug it is but you can if you find that it's sticking to the carpet too much you can open that and then you'll find that yeah. it'll be easier to push Cause I, that's really handy because I find uh, my head's gonna get out of the way now but I find I'm doing the whole one foot thing so yes. that I'm hearing and I'm putting one foot on a rug to try and stop yes, that from happening exactly. so that would that is amazing I mean it still could do it depending on the rug if you've got a rug which is kind of like um, you know like a rubber back yeah one, yeah then that's pretty much impossible yeah to, like, paint. Yes. So there we go. So this is the Mila C3 uh, complete, put together and plugged in. What we're going to do is... I'm I like gonna, it in white. Does it I'm going to give you... Oh, sorry. Yeah, it I'm comes sorry. In. Yeah, no, question. carry on. Does it come in different colours? Yeah, or? it does, yeah. I like Black. the white, though. It depends on what country. In some countries, you get more colours. I've mm. seen it in yellow, um, brown, mm -hmm. green white black and red Ooh. so yeah you can pick the colors cool mm. i like the white though so we're going to give it a quick demo in this room for you to see and then verity then will carry on doing the rest for her to demo so what you're going to see is just the uh, turbo brush um vacuum in this room which verity has left for me <laughs> um so we're going to do it today so i'll see you guys in a minute once we got set up Okay, so there we go. Hang on a second. I have got you set up here in the room we were just in. Um, and there's some bits on the floor, as you can see. So, let's give it a go. Fire away, babe.
one of the tools. I'll use the crevice tool. And do around the edge. done the room I'm just gonna put the tools away and we'll step back and let Verity see what she thinks of the results right you'll have to excuse me because I'm a bit hot and sweaty after doing the vacuuming <laughs> uh, we've done this one room what is your first impression I love it uh, and it it seemed to just almost glide that's what I like about the power brushes is that normally when I do this I've I haven't got a power brushes yet um, and I have to sort of really work at it yeah. and and it you know you, you do get hot and bothered hooving anyway but that it almost did seem to just glide and yeah. make light work of it because of it. Um, uh, as you'll see from a previous video I lent Verity one of the turbo brushes for her to, to, to try and the Maytag had a turbo brush as well. But this turbo brush, this is also the first time that I'm switching on. I haven't put the turbo brush on the vacuum until today. So I had no idea myself of what it would sound like or how it would perform. Yeah. And it is really quiet. It is. It's not allowed to hoover either. I all. mean, number one, the vacuum cleaner is very quiet. And once you've got the turbo brush on it, I just yeah. cannot believe that was on full power. Yeah. And yet, it was just so quiet. It was it was incredibly quiet, but you could you could see how powerful it was go, doing it. But to be honest, that's what you get with some of the you know that's what you get with the German vacuum cleaners. There's the Miele, uh, Sibo. I've never tried. There's another brand called Vorwerk. Okay. And they cost a fortune. Okay. But I've never tried one, so I have no idea what it's like. But for myself, from the, this Miele. Because you can get cheaper ones in this, you can get smaller ones with a dial. Yeah. So this is sort of like, they changed names, they used to be called like the S, S7, S6, S8, whatever. Yeah. Um, but they seem to have changed them. You can, in America, they come with power heads. Right. So you have a, a power cord that runs through here, mm -hmm. and then you have a powered head on it, like a oh, proper, right. like upright vacuum cleaner. But for some reason, they're not popular in the UK. Oh. So you can't really get the power heads and they had a light on them and everything. They're really yeah. good. Uh, check out Roger's channel uh, from iBasic. Um, he's got a S8 Unique, um, which is the one with the power head. And it's also got LED lights running down the side. Oh. I know it's very swank, I have to say. You know. But they don't make them anymore. Mm. They don't make them. That seems a shame. Yeah, it is, yeah, because I was hunting for one with LED lights on it. Yeah. Because I love things that flash. Yeah, like disco-y. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I got a th as the viewers probably will tell by now, if you're an avid watcher, I have a penchant for things which are brightly coloured and have flashing lights. Uh, so, yeah, so what is your first impression of it? I really like it. Yeah. I'm, I think it's a really, really good um, Hoover, and I just like the fact it's so quiet. Yeah, it's so quiet. How may I lift it? Is it how yeah, light? Yeah. How light is it? See, it's very light as well. It's not a heavy thing you have to lug, you know. Because Verity's got, as you've seen in a previous video, she's got a pneumatic uh, Hetty, um, and she's pretty light as well. Mm, yeah. So do you reckon? I don't know what the difference in weight is. Perhaps this is just my opinion, but to me, it feels slightly lighter. Yeah. But you know. Um, yeah. Possibly. But the results, yeah, you with can that see. Power, Look at the carpet. You can see the carpet as the pile is up. You know, and, and it picked up everything. Yeah. So I am really impressed with this head, uh, brush head, and I don't know if you noticed as well that you know this is kind of like a low sofa, but it still managed to get underneath it and underneath the bookcase it as did. well. Um, 
you know, we managed to and get And the crevice underneath. tool was really good. Yeah, it was, yeah. The crevice tool was really good. Yeah. Now, what I'm going to do, I can see a dusty shelf. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to try the dusting tool on the lowest setting on a shelf. And uh, we'll see what um, the results are for that. So, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I feel I must do a slight bit of explaining here. Because you can see all planes and stuff like that. My, um, my other half is a, a <laughs> modeler. Not as in you know, catwalk girl, catwalk. Cat um, but yeah, as in an airplane modeler. So hence all these lovely models, which are gorgeous, but so rather dusty do, at the minute. So what we're going to do is we're going to try this little shelf over here. So Verity's going to come up nice and close. And what we're going to do, I'm going to set it on the lowest one. Look how quiet that is. It's really quiet. And we're going to try it. Oh my word, look at that. And because it's the lowest, it's probably not going to do any damage or anything. Wow. Look at that. Wow. You can see that picking it all up. There's just something so satisfying about all this. Right, there? let's try this glass shelf now. Can you see that? Yeah. There's a bit of plastic there that I'm not going to get rid of because it could be detrimental. Oh, God. Yes, it could be. So I'm going to move this we out of the way. I don't know what that is about. That's and see, this head twists. So, so I can twist that head like that to get in on that shelf. Look. Ooh, that's fantastic. Wow, look at that. That is so fantastic. Okay. There's two tiny little things that I'm not going to move because they're probably part of the model. <laughs> and I will get shot. Okay, there we go. So that is that. That is the little shelf done. That's really amazing. Yeah, it looks really good, doesn't it? So I'll put these... That one looks like it's on a little runway now. <laughs> extremely delicate, does it? Yeah. Extremely delicate back. So yeah, so you can angle the brush. So you can have it to reach up, or you can angle it down that way to reach down. You've even got an additional relief valve. Ooh. So if you wanted even lower suction on it, it's not a problem because you can just do that release valve. Very, very clever. Okay, so Verity is all set up. She's ready to go. She is going to do the landing. Excited. Excellent. So. Let's give it a go. Go on, V.
Very comfortable, isn't it? Cool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put down some of my Mad About Mess on the landing and Verity's going to pass the turbo brush directly through the middle of it, one pass forward and one for pass back and then we'll inspect and see how it's done on the So I've put down the Mad About Mess which consists of... Verity's looking at me worriedly. It's nothing <laughs> bad, honestly. It's just rice, couscous, sawdust and um, cattails. No, it's not. Cattails. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do is Verity's going to do it on full power and she's going to do one complete pass. If I move the camera back, we can see. And she's just going to go right through the centre in the same line, back and forth. Um, and we'll give it a go. So, take it away! Take it away! Foxy. Okay, right, so what wow. I'm going to do is I'm going to take you off the tripod and let's have a close inspection to see how it did. So that we can see on either side. I think it did really well. It hasn't left anything, has it? No. No, nothing at all. As far all the way up to Foxy, it is all gone in one pass. Okay, cool. Right, so what we're going to do is, Verity's going to pick up the rest of it, and, oh, if I lay on the floor like this, there we go, look at that angle. Look at that. Look at that angle. Didn't she do well? <laughs> Bang and the dirt was gone. Bang and the dirt was gone. <laughs> you can actually see the track marks in the carpet. Yeah. So you can see where the brushes have been. And at the very last minute, when Verity was coming towards me, I just flicked some of that down in the edge and it's literally all gone. I can see one tiny little grain of whatever it is. But it picked it all up from the edge cleaning. So that was really, really impressive. Yeah. So the next room, the last room we've got to do is Le Boudoir. So we're going to do the boudoir and then we're going to so wrap I think it. The other good thing about this as well is the fact that you can lower the handle down for you. So it doesn't matter how tall you are. Whereas with Hetty, you can't really... You can either use just one part of the tube, which is too short. Yeah. Or the two parts of the tube, which uh, seem to be a bit long. So that's flexible with you it. You don't get a lot of choice with it. No, exactly. So Verity's going to finish off the last boudoir and I'm just going to um, follow her around. Follow me around. Follow her around.
Really good. So quiet. <laughs> I almost pulled the plug out of the wall. <laughs> I like that pink travel bag. <laughs> no. I think a number of my viewers would like that pink travel bag as well, possibly. Pink is my favourite colour. Mm -hmm. I love it. Girl. And the pink pink. Plus it dries your hair at the same time. <laughs> it does. Look at that. Woo! Like she just said, uh, like Marilyn Monroe. Stand on it. <laughs> Go girl! <laughs> <laughs> Your mother's gonna kill me when she sees this. You have corrupted my daughter. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's Scooby's bed. His little den. That's his little den. You look oh. Lesson. That's my sleep. Well, he's not driving me crazy, is he? Exactly. Okay, so, He's right there, he's looking at it like, what? Is oh, that? is he there? Yeah. He's alright there. He's not a good fan of Hulu. No, Unlike not even Dad's the quiet Nilos. Yeah, but he's not panicking. Normally he'll panic, so... No, that's good. That shows that how quiet it is. Not too bad. Let's just try it on the um, comfort mode. So that's supposed to be the comfort mode. Nah, I don't think it's... It seems to like want the maximum power, doesn't it, for the turbo? Yeah. Right yeah, I can't feel the brushes working as much. No. So, I'm going to move this slightly out of the way. Do this last little section. Last little bit. amazing okay so i'll unplug it and you can just you can test the um comfort rewind so you just push the button okay ready yeah Woohoo! that's it one touch done that was it excellent okay we'll get in the other room and we'll uh, do the wrap up okay everybody so that's it we have cleaned and vacuumed the floor uh let's have a look at the mess <laughs> so this looks like i said this bag Looks like a nappy. Yeah. Well, if there's anybody in America, a diaper. A <laughs> diaper. There we go. Yeah. And it's how easy is that? They literally just. Uh, yeah. And you got no mess. No mess. Nothing. Nope. 
really all good. done, all contained in one bag. And these bags, you can pack them full. Yeah. There's still room in there, you can see it. Oh, that, that's that's just like nothing. You yeah. can pack them absolutely full yeah. before you chuck them. They're brilliant bags. They're really, really good. So, this was, as you know, is my first uh, Miele as well, a uh, cylinder vacuum. The turbo brush, I am absolutely amazed at that. It worked really, really well. It picked up everything. The suction channels on the side, I guess could have been a little bit bigger, but I guess it directed uh, some stuff through. Mm. Um, but it worked. Oh, it was brilliant. Yeah, you it could, did. It worked really good. You could feel it really grooming it, and I um, think that's what's nice. And it was so quiet as yeah. well compared to other turbo brushes. I just couldn't believe it. Yeah, like the one I lent you before. So there we go. So would you do you like it? Do you, I would love you, it. you would buy one. I would definitely. I would consider. I one. need to find me one of these for Verity. <laughs> and right. it was. It, I, in my opinion, it is lighter than the. So yeah, Verity, so I could move it around quite easy and it's very robust. It's really well made. It is um, twelve hundred watts. I think the tool compartment is great. Everything's in one place. It's just brilliant. See the thing that they don't they don't effective. they're not going to make them anymore uh, with not? this power because now the EU, EU law come in. I think it's like the maximum nine hundred watts. Okay. So, so yeah, we're not even joking. Verity needs one of these <laughs> <laughs> before they sell out. And you know, before, see, that's where the power socket would go on the upper and the better models, right? So, when you plug it in, it would plug into the power socket there, so it's just capped off, so it's nothing at the moment. But yeah, that's what I didn't realize head. there were several um, different <clears throat> what's the right term variations, variations, yeah. So, you, yeah. like you were saying. That's yeah, um, really impressive. Yeah, they have the some of them are a bit of a higher spec and have the light on and yeah. yeah. I like it. I really I do. do like it. So thank you very much for watching this little bit of the demo. We have got another little segment. Verity has prepared five questions for me to ask about my sad restoration and collection hobby because I drive her sane, insane <laughs> talking about it in work all the time and he, and giving her vacuums and stuff so I'm going to move you a little bit closer and then I'm going to answer Verity's questions so okay fire Brian away Verity go on is in the hot seat so my first question is have you always loved hoovers <sighs> yes I've always sort of like I've always liked vacuum cleaners especially sort of like when I used to go to my nans or aunties or wherever yeah um, and I've enjoyed I, I actually enjoy vacuuming but um, I'd never sort of like taken it any further as sort of like collecting or yeah. restoring or anything that was recent but yeah yeah I have but I'd all I'd also as well when I was a kid sometimes I'd sit in front of the washing machine yeah and watch the washing yeah so it's always been that slight Just fascination. inclination towards <laughs> um, household appliances. And we've talked before about it having that sentimental value for you as well. Yeah, exactly, you know, like, yeah. Uh, different hoovers have different memories. And, yeah, exactly, you know, like yeah. One hoover makes you think of a grandma or... Yes. You know, um, so yeah. Yeah. Sorry, my cat's come and say hello now. Come on, Scooby. <laughs> come and be famous. Um, so... How, coming on from that, what made you come up with the idea of doing Hoover Lugs? How did that all come about? Well, how did you get the confidence? I mean, because you, oh, you strike me as so confident to oh, do God, it. Oh, God, no, no. Uh, it, it, it all started when I was looking for... I needed... I wanted something to... Oh, God. All our downstairs floors yeah. is, uh, is laminate. Okay. And with three cats and three dogs marching in and out and... Uh, and another half as well yeah it's sort of like the floors i was constantly mopping i was having to do mopping every night and right. i was like there's just got to be an easy way there's got to be some sort of like machine or whatever where you can actually do the mopping yeah. and the floor washing all at the same time yeah there's scooby there grab him <laughs> grab him if he'll let me he might run hold on grab him by the tail <laughs> no she wouldn't <laughs> Is he gone? Yeah. Oh, that was one slippery cat. <laughs> He's a slinky 
you slinky, slinky bun. <laughs> Sorry, uh, but uh, Cad is lovely. I do like him. I'll have to, I'll have to put Dexter on one of the yeah, videos because be... he'll sit there if you give him a treat. Yes. So I'll have to get him there just for the beginning. So yeah. So anyway, so it was just sort of like I, w I went and looked and I found a Bissell Crosswave. Yeah. Which is a floor washer and it sort of like dries it all at the same time. And the first person that I saw was a guy called Roger. He's got a channel called Ibasiac. Oh, okay. Which is called It Beats As It Sweeps As It Cleans. Ah. Which was the logo of Hoover back in the day. And okay. they had all songs and everything about it. So, anyway, so I watched that video on the demonstration of the Bissell Crossway. Yeah. Then I watched the unboxing video. Then I realized he had all these other videos. Yeah. And then I just started watching them like crazy. Then I started watching videos from Alex Raw and Ryan and uh, Sam Watson. And oh God, I, I just got really sort of like addicted to it. I absolutely loved it. So, <coughs> so I went on eBay and I bought an old Hoover Senior. Okay. And that's where it just all started from. So the intention when you bought that one, it wasn't like, oh, I'm going to start a no. channel. It was just because no, it was just you'd that. seen all these people. But it was sort of like, I'd seen a lot of channels, but I'd sort of like, I didn't know how to fix them or where to start. I yeah. had no idea. Yeah. I didn't I have wouldn't. a clue. No. Uh, I mean, even now I'm learning all the time with different vacuums, but I just thought I would try and make a channel where people could watch it. So they sort of like, if they did have an old vacuum or they came across granny's old vacuum yeah. and they could sort of like use it yeah. um, or, or restore it or whatever so yeah cool very cool mm. so what's your part when you're doing a restoration mm. there must be certain bits that you enjoy and others that you enjoy less so I wouldn't mm. say not enjoy but there must be certain parts of the restoration process that you do that give you the most satisfaction um, yeah the most at the the the, the, the that my favorite part is sort of like when I'm finishing it off. Yeah. When I'm either like waxing it or when ready. It's all done. Yeah, when it's all done and it's on the table yeah. and then I'm ready to put it on the floor and give yeah. it a demo. That is my favorite part. The least favorite part um, is some of the state that they come in. I mean, you wouldn't, <laughs> you know, just watch my channel and you'll see some of them and you're like, Oh my God, why didn't you just empty the bag before you <laughs> sent it to me? The bag is rotted and there's like oh, ancient old granny dirt in there and stuff. <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, so what has been your favourite Hoover to restore that you've done? Um, favourite Hoover to restore would that you've done be... So far. That I've done so far. Um... Funnily enough, it was uh, it was a Hoover Pure Power that I bought for a tenner in Merthyr Tidville. Oh. And it was like, this is ready for the bin. This is absolute, it's the blue one I've got, the dust manager. And I'm like, this is ready for the bin. And that was one of the first ones that I actually completely stripped down to right. the bare bones and cleaned it and got it working yeah. again. So that was my favorite restoration. Ooh. And yeah. my last question yeah. is if you if there was money was no bounds, what yeah. would be your dream hoover? Um, if you had all the money in the world, you know, what would you what one would you absolutely have to own? Um a new one or an old one? Um either because old ones can be, you know, just as okay. costly sometimes. If there was an old one, I already have it, which is the um Hoover Turbo Master. Yeah. Um total system yeah that is that is my desert island vacuum cleaner yeah that's one of the old ones new ones if i could sort of like pick any vacuum cleaner right now to buy a brand new one yeah. it would have to be the latest kirby Ooh. the kirby avalia i've not even seen that i love that i need to have a look yeah kirby i do avalia. like the kirby avalia they weigh an absolute ton they're american they're oh. an, they're a nightmare <laughs> they're an absolute i love them but they're bloody hell they're a nightmare <laughs> Mm. Why why are they so heavy sometimes? I think it's because like because they're American vacuum cleaners and their houses are so big, then it's sort of like and and, and, and a lot of the time they're all on one floor, uh, so you're not really having to hike it up and down the stairs so much. Do you know what true. I mean? But they're yeah. sort of like American houses. They have like swathes, miles of of carpeted yeah. areas or rugs the size of wheels. 
So it's sort of like, and if you then, know... And if they're not having to lug it up the stairs, then what difference does it make? Yeah, well, exactly. Even, even if they do, I mean, you can carry it up or whatever. But it's just sort of like, Americans' houses are just so much bigger than the ones in the yeah. UK. Yeah. In, in general. Yeah. They're just so much bigger. Well, this was very impressive. Yes, thank you very much, Verity, for me allowing me into your house. And oh. I'm sorry you had to leave your carpets for a week <laughs> without vacuuming. Because I know that would have driven you absolutely insane. <laughs> no, but thank you for coming and doing it. Thanks no worries. It saves me a little bit. <laughs> so I'd like to say a great big thank you to Verity for letting me demo the Turbo Brush and the Mila C3 Complete. Um, and I'd also like to say a big uh, hello to her brothers, to um, James and Ron, <laughs> <laughs> and to all of Ashley's family as well, to Laura and everybody, and Scooby and Ashley, and uh, well, basically everyone. So thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Please comment, like, and subscribe for more videos. Uh, we will do another v video in a, next year with Verity in January of uh, Demo and another, video, uh, another vacuum cleaner. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and we'll see you all in the next video. Bye! Bye.